Okay, here we go with the basics of just getting some more FPS out of the raid. Let's start with the basics. Uh, first you wanna go to the video settings, check the display, make sure you have the correct resolution because there's no bug that each time you patch the client, uh, your resolution will end up being a wrong one. And uh, that's also gonna contribute to a lot of FPS loss. Check the refresh rate, uh, never use vertical sync on these old clients. Hardware cursor and reduce input lag. These two uh, people have said if you turn them off that they gain FPS in the rates. For others it makes no difference. So it's whatever. Window mode maximized. Uh, this is really not that important. <coughs> Graphic settings. Now there's some stuff that you want to make sure uh, to tune down. Uh, don't even enable rate settings because it's just whatever. Uh, player textures, there's not really an option unless you change it from the CFG file, but this is not even impactful. Weather intensity, actually want to turn this down. The rain blending, turn it down, all this stuff. Texture filtering, medium. These three, definitely turn them off. Huge FPS loss. No benefit unless you really like, I don't know, fancy fluff. Shadow quality down, shadows are huge on CPU. Environment detail also, these are all CPU intensive things. Particle density, that's uh, mixed with CPU and graphics. Can keep it like this. View distance, that's also CPU intensive, but not so important for the rating. Uh, entity shadows, turn them off. Dynamic clouds, turn them off. Project textures, you, you really need to uh, keep this on because otherwise you won't see a lot of boss mechanics that are not uh, telegraphed and yeah so next next up we go to interface <coughs> we want to make sure that we have things like combat text that doesn't have like insanely stupid stuff enabled that's gonna clutter the screen but that's also gonna be your FPS issue uh, if you use something like LVUI or something use classic nameplates uh, smooth stacking nameplates also cause FPS. High precision also FPS loss. Don't use these. Um, under the add-ons, there's really not much. But there's some add-ons you want to disable if you use them. So you go to add-ons. Uh, DPM, for example, you can keep the DPM core for the pool timers and other stuff. But if you don't really need it because a lot of DPM timers are wrong anyway. It's better to use weak colors if you need some help in the raids. So just turn all this stuff off because it's FPS loss. It's also cluttered. On details, we get to the details optimization a little bit later. But I if you don't use any of these plugins, you also want to turn them off because they are CPU intensive and they are always writing in the combat. So turn this off. And yeah, that's basically all from here. <coughs> so next uh, step, we go to details. We go to performance tweaks. We click off collect energy because we are never, we don't really give a shit about this. Uh, you still want others, you still want misks probably if you like to check dispels and interrupts and stuff. Heal damage is self-explanatory, but the most important thing that you want to do is uh, display, update interval. Uh, by default, it's set uh, to be very low, something like this or this, and something like one second or even 1.4 is fine because you don't really need real-time updates on your details, and it's also very CPU intensive to have it on a low value. Uh, I'm probably gonna keep this. And next up, LVUI. <coughs> a few important things here. So let's see if we don't forget anything. Start from the top. Nameplates. Uh, you go to enemy NPC. You turn off uh, buffs. You turn off debuffs. If you wanna keep debuffs on, uh, make sure you filter it just to show 
uh, with specific buffs maybe and uh, and not on not on every mob even because that's very bad and there's also some other things like okay uh, and so the next thing that we want to check is uh, it's basically it's not really LVI related but even if you have friendly player nameplates enabled uh, name only uh, it looks like this more or less depends how I have it set it up uh, shift V in the rates and it's going to be massive FPS increase for many people s for some less for some more but the uh, basic thing is if you have name only set uh, the health bars are not really removed they're just uh, hidden with alpha visibility that means that the health bars are still always calculating and updating so that's that's an FPS loss uh, <coughs> next thing that we want to check here is unit frames now this is a little bit more important if you're a healer for example you have something set on by default health like for the whole rate frame uh, frequent updates should be turned on by default and really recommended to unclick this it's basically uh, real-time monitoring of everybody's HP if you turn this off there is uh, almost no difference you'll still be able to heal fine but you save a lot of FPS so to the rate and frequent updates you can do the same with the party if you want and <coughs> so there's another thing uh, it's uh, the heal heal prediction where is it uh, basically yeah heal prediction y you can have it on if you want if your FPS is not that bad but if you remove this you should be able to see some FPS increase in the rates you will not be able to see the overlay of HP prediction in the rate frames but at the same time most of the time you don't really need it because the healing is so spiky uh, it's not really gonna be that useful at this current content and state of the game so you can turn this off and <coughs> I don't remember if there's anything else for LVUI but basically these two things of rapid health updates and health prediction and also the buffs and debuffs on the boss and uh, friendly nameplates are the biggest increases of black so to say and then there's weak colors that depends how many weak colors are we using i have a good example here with melee stats like let's say this is my attack power that it's tracking i need to fix this because see it's checking my it's recalculating my attack power at uh, every frame which is really really not good if you are raiding and all your cpu is already busy with calculating all the other optimized uh, unoptimized things and it's already struggling so check your weak colors make sure that stuff that's using every frame trigger that you're using as little as possible these things uh, good things for example that are fine are something like um, let's say like auto invite that's triggering on an event that's just a whisper it's not checking every every frame of something it's not calculating anything um, sa same thing with uh, uh, loot uh, loot frame only happens when i actually do loot something even though it is calculating some things like how much gold i have told and so on but it's not checking it every frame so these add-ons like i mean weak colors like these are really gonna kill your fps especially if you have many of them and for inside the game we are done now <coughs> the other thing left to do is uh, uh, open your task manager go to details 
uh, also always make sure the essential launcher is closed because it's doing a lot of background checks of uh, uh, checking if the client needs to be updated and all the other stuff so <coughs> what you can do here is right click set priority set it to high don't set it to real time otherwise your whole pc is gonna start to freeze up uh, set it to high usually it's normal high is gonna help a little bit with resource allocation if you have especially if you have a lot of packs on pro programs open and then there's another thing let me see so there's a thing called <coughs> four gigabyte patch that i will leave a link in the description of the video what this does is basically <coughs> it patches the X file of the 32-bit client to be able to use more memory than it normally would. Usually the 32-bit uh, clients are limited to 2 gigabytes of them. I'm not sure actually if Ascension has fixed their client to be able to use more, but I use this uh, just in case as I've done with other private servers. Uh, so you just choose. Uh, ascension the game can't be running otherwise you get this error but if you just use choose ascension click ok it will automatically patch it and you can run your game and it's gonna take more memory and be limited to two gigabytes and yeah that's all Ho hope it helps <laughs>